I have recently been into super mini, so the micro size bags. But in today's video, I will not include the micro bags. I will do another video reviewing micro bags as well as the newest additions that I've added. Yes, guilty. Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amy and today I am presenting to you my mini bag collection. Also, my definition of mini bag is that it has to fit the essentials, but it can still fit a phone. The order that I'm gonna go about it is from the ones that fit the most to the ones that fit the least. Oh, Two of the mini bags that I own that fits the most are my Gabrielle Chanel bag. So this is the Gabrielle bag in their size small, which is their smallest size. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea when it comes to this style, but I personally feel that this is for me a forever bag in my collection at the very least even if I were to downsize my collection in the future, let's say if I have to, I will still at least keep one Gabrielle in my collection because it is so easy to carry. It fits a lot for a mini bag and it is so easy to get in and out of it. You guys probably know that I'm a big, big fan of the Gabrielle when it came out. I pretty much bought it at the beginning and I have since been still a big, big fan of it and I absolutely love it and still recommend it. Of course, the price has gone up significantly since its debut, but I still feel like if you love it, and if you know that it is gonna be a forever bag in your collection, then go for it. It comes down to how you feel when you wear your bags, and if you wear a bag often, then it will be worth it no matter the current price. You may also know that the majority of my collection are Chanel bags, so Chanel bags have gone up significantly. It is at this level where it's a now or never type of situation. It's like if you want something and you've been saving for it, it's now or never in a sense. What I love about this bag, uh, by the way, I will talk about these accessories that I have on my bags. What I love about the Gabrielle is the chain feature. I love also that it's an easy in and out. It basically acts almost like a tote. The zipper does not bother me at all. Normally, I am not a fan of zipper openings, but this zipper is smooth as butter. It's straight. It's easy to open and close and once it's open it's so easy to reach in and out this is the max size phone it goes in like nothing it just pops in there it's super easy you can stand it up when you're in a rush and you just want to like you know just just throw it in but it won't close obviously because it is too short these chains are like jewelry on your body they just look absolutely fabulous and I don't wear it in any special way. I just wear it on my shoulder just like that and the chains just speaks for themselves. You don't even need the CC charm to be dangling in the right place because it doesn't even matter because at the end of the day, these chains and the shape of the bag and just how it drapes and how easy it is to use just makes up for the fact that this little zipper charm doesn't really show up most of the time. It just sits on top, which I'm totally fine with. Another feature that is absolutely going for the Gabrielle is that it is made of the distressed calf skin, which does give it more of a vintage look, but also means that it won't age with time. Yes, of course, it will crease over time and with more and more use, it might even fall down a little bit and uh, just because the creasing will get more severe. But once you're using the bag, it pulls it up from the sides, you won't notice it. And so the wear and tear on this is really forgiving. The only place that you can really damage the bag is if you scratch the bottom, which is a smooth calf skin and it is a solid bottom but I haven't had any issues with mine. I don't baby this one, but I'm not careless. I just use as I normally would, so I'm not afraid to use my Gabrielle at all. I just don't violently throw it on the table or on the floor, you know what I mean? So that the base stays clean and nice and smooth, which is why I don't see any issues on mine. And of course, with any leather product, always avoid humidity and rain. So if it's raining, then of course, the moment that you get back into your car, dry off the bag with a 
paper towel or a Kleenex. One thing that I was made aware of by my subscriber is that the leather on the chain can rub off. I do know that she lives in Singapore and that uh, it does frequently rain there but not only that the humidity level is also very high all year round so just be mindful of that if avoid going into the rain too much with it just because of that reason and i know that it happened on a subscriber's bag uh, i've seen it twice already at this point but myself i haven't been having any issues and uh, I do avoid using my most expensive bags when it does rain anyway. For the Gabrielle bag especially, I feel like in a darker color, so the black or jewel tone, rich darker colors just go super super well with the Gabrielle just because of the super cool hardware. The ruthenium, it has the age gold, it has the shiny gold, and it has the shiny ruthenium hardware all over the bag and it's just wonderful. It just goes so well with these rich colors and although I do use the black one more I do love the look of this burgundy one it's just so rich and beautiful moving on to the accessories that you see right here on the bag of course these accessories are not a must but they just are super fun when you do have them on so these are all from Samorga thank you so much to Samorga for sponsoring this video so throughout my collection I will show you all the different accessories and organizers that I put on these bags and that you might want to consider if you like it. So right here I have one of their chains and why I like this one is because it's so lightweight. I feel like this bag, the Gabrielle itself, is already kind of like a very sturdy and sort of heavier bag. So I definitely didn't want to add a very very heavy chain to the bag if I wanted a top handle. I think this just really just adds that little extra oomph, especially with that beautiful gold tone. So Morga uses 24 karat gold plating on all of their chains which is amazing. They're so so good quality but I absolutely love this one because it's so light and it just doesn't damage the bag because when it's too heavy it can sort of you know it just feels a little bit more worrisome but this one is just the perfect amount of weight and just the perfect addition to this beautiful jewel tone burgundy color which is absolutely beautiful so this kind of adds a little bit of more detail to the bag and of course you could still use it alone uh, as per usual but then when you want to just hold it by the handle because sometimes you just need to grab it from your car seat or whatnot that's why i'm such a big fan of this chain because it's the perfect length and the perfect color for this bag as opposed to something a little bit more heavy this is a beautiful chain this is their sugar top handle which is absolutely stunning but this one does have a little bit of weight which I wouldn't use on the Gabrielle. That's just my personal preference. This one would make a great top handle on any other bags. The Bushet Accessoire from the Muzi Bushet, or if you just had any sort of pouches that needs that extra glam and you want to use it as a more dressy bag, this chain is absolutely phenomenal. Side by side, you can see why the sun is so bling. And also the weight of this, I guess it's maybe uh, I guess maybe this one is solid metal whereas this one is hollow which is why it's so light this one they're both aluminum coated with uh, 24 karat gold which I would only assume that this one is hollow which is why it's so lightweight and um, I, I actually like that about it for the bag I got this one when I had my other bag but I guess because I don't have that other bag anymore I uh, am not really currently using it but I'm sure it's a matter of time. Another option is with a pearl strap, but I specifically chose this one for the Gabrielle because I love that the pearls are stationary right in the middle of the strap so that it always drapes in the middle, but you also still get a little bit of the gold chain detail, especially if you have a lighter color Gabrielle, such as the rainbow colors or like the pinks, this pearl strap would be wonderful on it. With this pearl chain, you would need to also add on these little clips here, the round clips, because uh, the original clip right here, the opening is too small for this part of the D-ring uh, because this is quite a thick hardware. So you would need a bigger opening from these clips that they also sell individually. FYI, and that's just how it would look like because a lot of you guys wanted to know 
how all my um, different chains and accessories look on my bags. So this is definitely another option. Okay, up next we have the cocoa handle. So currently this cocoa handle size is called the small because it used to be the mini, but then now there's an extra mini. So this has been upgraded to uh, the small size, but it's the same size. Uh, it's the old mini, the new small. So anyway, let's call it the small because that's what they call it now. Let's talk about the blue one first, just because I added the blue one first. The blue one is a very special one because Chanel used to use exotic skin before and then of course they stopped it. I think in May 2019, they stopped using any leathers that are exotic, which is why this one becomes a special piece in my collection. Even though I don't wear this bag nearly as much as I should, I actually only wore it a handful of times. I don't know why, I think it's the color. I just love my reds, I love my blacks and blues are just like, you know, they're beautiful, especially this royal blue, but I just don't wear blues so much, I guess. Or I just, I don't know why, I, I should. Uh, but anyway, this is a beautiful, beautiful cocoa handle from the fall season of 2018 and is absolutely gorgeous. It's uh, from 18K, I think. And of course, it's all leather lined. Back then, when you get an exotic cocoa handle it's leather line on the inside whereas uh, the ones after that were fabric line but of course now in 2021 they've also changed back the cocoa handle to leather line which is amazing because they did increase the price on these but at least they give you more substance i always tuck my straps inside when i store it and uh actually i have right there my Samorga organizer this is their 1.2 millimeter felt organizer and it comes in a set of two because there are two compartments in this bag and although it appears to be a bit more tight in the back they are exactly the same size it's just that because the flap is on this side it just is a little harder to reach but the compartments themselves are exactly identical which is why when i received my organizer for one cocoa handle i used it in two different bags because i I only use it in the front compartment since the back compartment I hardly use anyway. I only maybe put my phone there. As you can see, the compartments are pretty narrow, which is why it fits a little bit less than the Gabrielle, but it's still very roomy. In fact, it does fit my large size phone no problem at all. And it will, yeah, it will fit a much, much larger phone if you had one of those Samsung large phones. It will definitely fit. You can see that lengthwise and even like widthwise, they are very similar, which is why they do fit similarly. But uh, this one is just so easy to get in and out and just a wonderful, wonderful mini size bag. I always forget that there's a slip pocket in the middle right there, uh, but it's there <laughs> and sometimes I do use it, but I almost always forget that it's there. With the cocoa handle, you should be aware that because of the sharper corners, those are probably the places that will wear and tear faster if you do end up using your bags often. I would say that the Coco Handle, the main pro is that price-wise, it's still one of the most reasonable price handbag that Chanel makes. And especially now that they're doing leather lining and the latest 21K collection is just absolutely dreamy and the quality just seems wonderful on those bags. Because in the past, they did have some issues with you know, just like the flap being wonky and just, you know, the bag wobbling and not sitting upright. Those were some of the issues that they had in the past, but now it seems like it's rectified and I feel like the price is still so reasonable for the cocoa handle and it's a recognizable shape. I guess the con is that it is still, after all, not a classic and so don't expect it to give you the same feeling as a classic flap and also the fact that for the small size the strap is a little shorter so cross bodying this is mostly impossible for most people but it is meant as a shoulder bag so the remedy for that is to add extenders which is what i've done in here these are really really cute pearl extenders from samorga again i will be linking all of these in the description 
And so you get a set of two and they're so affordable. Right there, I think you get an extra four or five inch drop, which is wonderful when it comes to just being able to crossbody your cocoa handle because at the end of the day, this is still a pretty small size bag. And so to be able to crossbody it, it's just so wonderful. Right now it sits right there on my hip level, which is, oh, it's just a game changer. This cocoa handle in the gray color is from the 19p collection which unlike the gabrielle i prefer the coco handle in a light color because the coco handle is such a dreamy sort of feminine bag and it just looks so good and so girly and so princessy when it's in a light color which is why between these two coco handles this one is still my favorite I mean, this one looks absolutely stunning. Royal blue color, which is so great. And of course, the quality on this one is so much better in a sense because you get leather lining, you get exotic skin on the handle. So that one's wonderful. But in terms of just the one that gives me the most joy when I carry it and the one that looks just so good in terms of color palette and just the style itself, what fits this style, the lighter color just is wonderful. I mean, look at it. It just looks like a white bag. It looks like a gray bag. And if you add these cute little chains, I mean, look at it. Look at this little bit of pearls, not too much, not so overwhelming, but it just adds to it. And it also drapes wonderfully too. You don't have to worry about not looking cohesive. It just drapes beautifully. Up next, we have an LV bag. Do you guys even remember this bag? This is the Spring Street and it is so beautiful. It's about to leave my collection very soon. A subby of mine um, is loving, loving this bag and is about to take it away from me very soon, but I still wanted to show it to you guys. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shaped bag. It kind of has that vintage vibe. And um, someone asked me about these charms, how to put it on. Honestly, there's no right or wrong way. It really just is up to you. So I like to sort of just drape my monogram on top of the white big tab in the back because it's just too plain, the white one. So I like to just kind of drape it on top. And yeah, that's just how you loop it through. It's quite easy actually. So I don't know if you can see, you just loop everything through. It has three different materials, monogram, patent leather, EP leather on the side more monogram on the bottom and the patent leather on the back and the front and it has the beautiful s lock very very lv very very lv signature s lock and the interior is a beautiful microfiber lined and it comes with a detachable strap as well this strap you can use it on all your other lv bags as well i would say that they fit about the same things of course, they are very, very different vibe. This one is more evening vibe and definitely more elegant vibe because of the shininess of the patent leather. And you can dress it down with the strap. This is pretty much a leather bag because, I mean, yes, you do have a bit of monogram, but it's pretty much a full leather bag. I would say that under $3,000, it's just an amazing deal. It just looks expensive for what it is. So I'm super excited for the subscriber of mine who is about to take this away from my collection, but I just did want to shout out to it a little bit more since I still have it right here in my possession. Up next, we have this beautiful, very, very unique, reissue mini so the 2.55 mini size chanel 19a collection i do have a classic mini right but this fits so so much more faux croc embossed calf skin normally a reissue bag you can squish it you can basically flatten it out and travel with it and that's the shape of the bag it's supposed to be pointy on the bottom but because i've been you know storing it uh upright which um, just flattens out the bottom, which I don't mind. I actually like the look more. Again, I have an organizer. This one, I did get it before they had their 1.2 millimeter felt, a lot thicker and just a lot more structure. As you can see, it's not as flimsy, but I actually prefer the flimsy 
material because mini bags are already so small that you don't want to limit yourself so much more in the interior of your bag so if i had to redo it i would choose definitely i would personally choose a 1.2 millimeter felt you can see how much more flexible and flimsy it is whereas this one is rigid and it's solid and it's structured uh, but it does sort of take up more space inside your bag so that's just my personal preference you you do you you can choose uh, the regular or the 1.2 another question that I get asked often about these things is is it really necessary and of course the answer is no you don't need an organizer for such a small bag but I just like having them I like having the option of protecting the interior of my bags and also just over the long term I don't like thus collecting inside the bags and sometimes it can be hard to clean the interior of your bags especially if it's fabric this one is all leather line which is much much better when it's leather you can wipe it but when it's a fabric lining such as the lighter coco handle that i own that one if it's stained back to the reissue main pros and cons main pro beautiful chain i mean just look at this absolutely stunning bejeweled bijou chain Bijou stands for jewelry. Just like the Gabrielle, the chain on the reissue is absolutely the, 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 the stunning part about the bag. And if you have the classic version, which is the distress leather, similar to the Gabrielle, it's a very travel friendly bag because you can flatten it out, store it in your luggage. So it's a very easy travel, lightweight handbag. I suppose that the con of 2.55 is that not everyone is into it and because of that it's not as popular and therefore the resale value is always gonna be worse than the classic mini flap so it's mostly pertaining to resale value unless you have a very unique limited edition piece such as this one then yes the resale value will be much much better i always get asked whether you should go for a reissue or for a classic it honestly boils down to your own preference because my own preference is still this look i so much much prefer this look but I did go for this one because of the gorgeous, gorgeous print from the limited edition uh, during that particular season and that particular runway because the graffiti on this one is just absolutely stunning. The pattern on every bag is also slightly different just because depending on which part of the fabric that they are cutting, it won't be exactly the same, which is why it's so great. And I love the fact that mine does have the Chanel logo right there on the top flap. It's just so gorgeous and it has to have the CC on the top right there. The other con can be the turn lock uh, and I, I would have to say it is the turn lock actually. The reason number one I prefer this lock versus this lock and also the look itself is because with the CC turn lock you don't have to aim. It just closes on its own very very easily whereas this one you have to aim. You kind of have to like find it takes you extra few seconds which it seems like it's easy right now but when you're in and out of your bag and it's open and you can also get wear and tear from the turn lock itself onto this plate right here i still have the sticker on on this little rectangle plate for that particular reason because i just want to avoid the scratches from the turn lock as long as possible i'll just wait for the sticker to fall off on its own but unfortunately if you've removed your sticker then chances are you're gonna see some of the scratches on your lock and that is something that i was made aware of from some of my subbies who have the exact same bag and it is by design it honestly is something that you cannot really avoid unless you have the sticker still on it which is why i kept mine so just to show more eye candy even though i'm not really putting this bag in this category uh, my small classic flap small size classic flap is a wonderful wonderful bag i'm so glad that i finally added it this year but i will not consider this as a mini bag because i feel like Yes, it only fits your essential as well, but it still fits way more than this. And because the length and just the size of the bag itself, it feels more of a proper bag. Um, Price-wise, it's a proper bag price. Therefore, I won't consider this a mini bag, even though you can technically. Anyway, I just won't put it in this category. I just wanted to show you a side-by-side -side look more eye candy for you the mini rectangular flap is basically the most popular bag after the classic flap right so um because of its resemblance so 
Uh, that is the main, main, main reason and also even the shape. Side by side, you can see why the reissue will fit a bit more because it's taller, first of all, and also the depth. However, I would have to say that the classic mini, um, either the rectangular or the square, are still my holy grail and also forever bags in my collection. Like I said earlier, even if I were to downsize, these two classic minis are for sure a forever, never gonna part with them type of bag because you just need these sizes in your collection. For me anyway, I need my mini bag collection. Um, but if I were to downsize, I would still have to keep this one because uh, first of all, they don't make it in caviar anymore. That is a very common knowledge. Yes, they did make a seasonal flap in 21K that is a mini size and it's a square shape, but they're still different. It doesn't have the back pocket. The straps are different. They're thinner. The fact that the turn lock on this one is a more circular shape, it's round. It's so much easier to close it. And yes, it fits a bit less than the other bags, but it still fits more than enough. In the past, I would use my vlogging camera. And uh, of course, the Max phone will definitely fit as well. So the rectangular mini is a very, very versatile size. It also has a longer chain, which a lot of people prefer. For me, I prefer the shorter chain, but I don't mind it because I'm still okay tall. I'm 5'4", and so it will just hit a little lower, which is not the worst thing in the world. And um, yeah, I just absolutely love this color, which is from the raspberry pink color from the 18B collection, which is still honestly, I'm so glad that I was able to get it at the time. That was also when they started having more and more price increases. You were just noticing it more, but now it's just another level. <laughs> With the classic minis, and when I say classic, I just mean that they look like the classic flap because these are considered seasonal, which is why you would not find the same color or even sometimes the size is a bit different. The finish and the colors will always, always be different. That's why they're seasonal. Yes, you're paying quite a bit of money nowadays, especially for a mini size bag, but at least they're giving you all leather line and the shape is the closest to a classic. And honestly, these minis are super, super handy. Nowadays, you don't even need much, which is why I'm so into micro bags on top of that. But if I wanna just upsize a little bit, these mini bags are just the perfect sweet spot. And if you want to accessorize your bag, make it a little bit more nighttime or just have a little top handle fun, these, these little pearl straps are just, oh, they're a godsend. So I have the same strap on the square mini and the rectangle mini and they just look absolutely fun and just easy to grab and go. I like this version right here with the T-bar because if it's perfectly, it doesn't damage the bag. Of course, you know, if you have a lambskin, it will maybe dent it a little bit, but with lambskin, anything will dent it anyway. Even your fingernails will dent it. I also own their larger pearls in the past, which I still like, but that one, their older version, you did have to sort of buy the extra clip and clip it on the underside as well. And of course you can see it in my uh, other videos, but this most recent latest version with the T-bar is just the perfect fit for these minis. They are actually made for the minis. And so it's just, Oh, it's just such a cute little nighttime bag. It just transforms it. The Square Mini. I would say that they fit about the same amount, except that this has a longer length. If you're into a large phone like me, you would probably like this more because depending on the season of your Square Mini, which, like I said, because they're seasonal, some seasons tend to be a bit shorter. I'm just lucky that mine, 17C collection, that mine still fits lengthwise um, my Max phone, which is amazing, but that's not gonna be a guarantee for every single season, right? It just fits right in, so that's good. So a pro of the mini classic flap is that it's still a relatively affordable bag 
when it comes to trying to get your first Chanel bag, especially if you don't want to spend classic flat money, which is why when I started my collection, these were the bags that I was trying so hard to get my hands on. And so I would still recommend these because price point, yes, they're expensive now, but it is what it is. If you don't, if you don't take the plunge, you'll just never do it and it'll just get too late all the time. Anyway, we don't need to get into the topic of pricing because it is what it is. So pro is that it looks like a classic, but not only that, these are one of the most recognizable Chanel bags out there and they are super, super handy mini bags and they're super versatile to wear. Dressed up, dressed down, and on top of that, they have the best resale value. When it comes to resale value from Chanel, it's always the minis. There aren't so many cons, honestly, for the classic minis because everybody loves a classic mini. I would say that depending on the material, um, that could be a con, like a lambskin will always be getting more wear and tear. But when it comes to owning and using a bag, does that really matter? Just use it, right? I mean, be careful, but just use it, enjoy it, make your money worth and so your cost per wear can come down. So I wouldn't say that there's any cons to these bags aside from the size, because as you can see earlier, I showed you all the other sizes before this one, because these two are, yeah, much, much smaller than the Gabrielle, much smaller than the Coco Handle, much smaller than the Reissue. But when it comes to resale and just recognizability and versatility you cannot beat these two like i mentioned earlier this is the exact same chain that uh, i had on my rectangular mini but this one is just in the gold color and it just threads through the exact same way just a little t-bar this next mini bag i was almost gonna put it in the micro bag collection video but because mine does have the top handle i can sort of squeeze it into this category of mini bags and yes this one actually fits way more than it looks yes it looks tiny right i mean it looks tiny but this packs a punch when it comes to a design that is really boxy they always just fit more not even joking it fits just as much as the rectangular mini but i guess what edges out this one a little bit is that this one does have a bit more height and it is technically longer it is it is a longer bag than than um then this little vanity this one is really like a novelty mini bag because it's in the smaller the goods department but like i said before even chanel realized that they are priced so well that they have all increased in price drastically i think this one is still justifiable because it does behave more like a mini bag more than a micro bag because it, it really does fit a lot so this still does fit a phone my case is super thin it's like paper thin which is why it fits right in basically the max you can't fit a much larger phone than that and also it has to be caseless like i said my case is paper thin it's literally paper thin okay so uh that's why I don't have to remove my case. Here's a little tour of the bag. It does have this lipstick compartment right here. It's pitch black, so it's hard to see, but it does have that lipstick compartment and three card slots in the back. As your first ever Chanel bag, I would not personally recommend this just because it will always lack a little bit. It, it's, not, it's not quite the same as owning a mini. I just feel like the mini, the flap, the shape, the, the thicker chains, right it just so much more substantial when it comes to getting your first proper bag from chanel i would say still go with the mini but if your collection is more extensive and you just want to get into the more fun bags the more novelty pieces i would say that this is a great one pros of this one is that it does have a top handle it does have the beautiful chain this chain is so beautiful and substantial substantial meaning that you know there's weight to the chain right to the hardware can you guess what the main con for me is by the way it's the zipper <laughs> i have a love hate relationship with zippers this bag is literally perfect honestly it's it's so beautiful and the lambskin is so yummy and shiny but because zippers drive me crazy especially because you have to go around every time you open it on both sides 
it just drives me crazy a little bit and that is why I've only used it once and it was only a very short sort of like I brought it to my in-laws house anyway you guys know my love-hate relationship with zippers uh, I just don't I just don't like zippers in general so I would say that this is the biggest con for me because price wise cuteness novelty wise and the fact that it has a top handle oh it's so good but I just I just don't like zippers <laughs> so yeah I don't know every time I've had a love-hate relationship with a zipper item I always end up selling so I don't know what I'll end up doing with this one because it is absolutely stunning and it is absolutely perfect because we all know that Chanel has quality issues nowadays and this one has no quality issues whatsoever everything is so perfectly made it is also their first season that they made this which is why I think they paid more attention but Ugh. Like I said earlier with fabric lining, you just want to avoid any spills and especially if it's not black because black at least you don't see the wear and tear so much but if you had like a lighter color fabric on the inside, it just protects the interior as you can see. Yes, it takes away the little lipstick holder thing but I never even use it anyway. I just prefer having one big compartment. Okay, up next we have the Lady Dior in the mini size. Yes, I do have this beautiful twilly from Miss Cat L and I love it. I just keep it on. Um, but the bag looks like this otherwise. Just a beautiful opalescent, beautiful silver, almost silver gray color. It's just really, really beautiful. And this would be one of the bags that fits the least because of how narrow and hard it is to get in and out of even if it does fit more you just don't want to put too many things because it will be so hard to get in and out of this look at the narrow opening kind of boxy on the inside but it's kind of small too and because of these rings right here and the flap right there it's harder to get in and out i was surprised because i thought the flap would be an easier way to get in and out rather than the zipper but i think it's because this bag is small so it does make it harder and yes i did just add a new organizer to this again not really using it as an organizer more as a liner because again it is fabric line on the inside and i want to preserve the light color of this and just making sure that i don't get it dirty so i chose it in a very very similar color just gray and this makes the perfect little liner when it comes to the lady dior the main pro is how classic this bag is when I think of Dior, I think of the Lady Dior. Even though I don't really typically shop at Dior that much, I still want to own their most classic piece, which to me, this is quintessential classic. And I just went with the mini size because I don't think I will really use my Dior bags for daily use anyway. So I went with the smallest size. To me, it's the cutest size and also the most sort of uh, versatile when it comes to an evening function which I know we don't have a ton of right now but I guess I could use my minis for evening too but it just has that sort of casual vibe to these even so I just feel like for a proper proper evening bag you just cannot beat the Lady Dior which is really elegant and even with the chain it it doesn't look out of place maybe with this super novelty piece it looks a bit more evening but otherwise if you're not into novelty piece i would say that the gabrielle the rear issues even the coco handle i feel like even if you remove the coco handle strap it's just not so evening but it doesn't fit as much for sure it um it is very constricting like i said earlier to get in and out of and even though it does fit this size phone it's a very very tight squeeze it's just not it like it just doesn't work if you're gonna use this as your everyday bag and try to get in and out your phone from this you won't like it i'm just telling you right now you won't like it therefore the pro of the lady dior is that it's classic it's recognizable very evening appropriate and the con is it doesn't fit much and it's pretty pricey and I would say that uh, resale value is poor. I have another LV bag right here and I was also struggling to see if this should be a mini bag or should be a micro bag because this is sort of borderline as well. 
Again, it's another novelty piece, officially called Petit Sac Plat. Petit stands for small sac plat because the original sac plat is quite big. But the reason why I also put it in this video is because it does fit a phone and it fits a phone super easy because it's basically the vertical shape. It's the exact shape of a phone that uh, it, it, just, it just will accommodate your phone super easily and it's easy reach in and out. I did say when I revealed this bag that I treat this bag as a phone bag, which you know, is still all the rage right now, especially with the micro bag trend. Uh, it is essentially their directions towards micro bag, I suppose, because LV didn't make a ton of micro bags because even their micro bags are pretty big, case in point. So it does come with a beautiful pre-patinaed shoulder strap. It's gorgeous, actually. And even the leather on the handle, is pre-patinaed which is wonderful it's really really sort of novelty feel there's just something about a good monogram piece always that gets me because yes i love my chanel you guys know that but sometimes when a good monogram piece comes up i just cannot resist so i had to buy it at the time but i have to admit that i haven't used it a ton in fact i used it once and it's mostly for a photo shoot. Honestly, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like not sure if I should sell it because yeah, but these were definitely my least used, like these two right here. And it's not because they're micro size in a way, because I'm so into micro size bag, you guys have no idea. You guys will see, I'll do an unboxing soon. I mean, this is because of the zipper, but honestly, can you, can you deny the shape though? I mean, can you deny the shape of these two though? I mean, they are cute. Oh, I'm just having such a hard time. I would say between this and the Lady Dior, they fit very, very similar amount, but just different configuration because this one is wide open. So pros of this, easy to get in out of, phone bag, novelty looking, but still iconic because of its iconic sac plat signature. But con, I guess it's that it's still a small, very, very small bag.
Let me know in the comment section which is your favorite mini bag in my collection and also what is your favorite mini bag in your collection. If you're brand new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, I would love to have you back so please don't forget to subscribe like this video if you don't already know you can also support my channel by becoming a channel member you'll also get exclusive access to extra live stream content that we put out every single month as well so love to have you as my member as well thank you all so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye